Hello there, you bunch of bellends. Hello there guys and welcome. I have for you today a lineup of 10 of what I believe are 2013's best add-ons for FSX. In all honesty, I'm not going to expect everyone to agree with what I'm going to say. However, I will say this, it's an opinion we are all entitled to one. If you have your own list of 10 or more, then please list them below the video in the comments section and then we can all judge your list like you're doing to mine. Seriously though, 2013 has been a phenomenal year for us flight simmers. We've been treated to probably the best set of add-ons since Flight Simulator began and they just keep getting better. So let's get on to it. Number 10. Number 10 lies with, in my opinion, the guys at UK2000 with the release of Luton Extreme earlier this year. Luton Extreme uh, was long awaited. There hasn't been a decent Luton scenery, as far as I can remember, unless you count Ursim's attempt at trying to port over a scenery from FS9 to FSX, which really didn't work. It is a phenomenal scenery. The texture resolutions are fantastic. The amount of detail that they've gone into is phenomenal. And the frame rate is absolutely astounding. So, if you haven't got this, I suggest you go check it out. On to number 9. Number 9, I was stuck with two products. I won't tell you what the other one was, but I will tell you what the winner was in my head. And that was Flight Beam's Washington that they released earlier this year. Now, Flightbeam released uh, San Francisco X, which I wasn't too keen on. Uh, there was a few problems with lag and all that stuff, but maybe that was just because at the time I had a kind of potato PC and it wouldn't really run it that well. Obviously, we're on to bigger and better things now, so for me, Washington is an absolute milestone in comparison to what they did with San Francisco. The HD textures are amazing, and the way that they do the shadows, absolutely crazy. Again, another one I completely recommend, especially if you're looking for things to add to your Christmas list this year. Moving on to number 8 now, a small change in direction to a different company down over at Aerosoft. Aerosoft and 29 Palms released this, again, earlier on in the year. And for those of you who watched my stream, I kind of streamed the death out of this because it was so good. And that is Skiathos X. Now, Skiathos X was, again, for me, a kind of milestone in what can be achieved with scenery. When I first loaded it up and I looked at it, it pretty much reminded me of X-Plane. Now, they've done some really wicked things with the lighting at night, which, uh, you know, for an FSX scenery, anything like that is appreciated. The HD textures on the runway, on the buildings, on the terminal, on the taxiway, whatever, even the surrounding area are just completely spot on. You can't fault them at all. They have moving animations, they have birds flying. They even have the dust on the end of runway 02, which gets widespread when large jets take off and it kind of scatters people that are on the road trying to take pictures or just walking the dog. Okay, on to number seven. And this will not be a surprise to any of you, I don't think. This is Fly Tampa's Dubai scenery. Again, for FSX and FS9, I think they did it for. This was released earlier on in the year, and wow, that was a true wow. The way that they modelled the airport, the way that they modelled the surrounding area, is just an absolute dream. The performance is perfect. There is no real issues at all, and if there was, they have been fixed with the patches that they released. Um, it's completely flawless, absolutely perfection. I can't really say any more about it. Go check it out if you haven't already. Number six. Well, this was released three days ago, and it's Active Sky Next. Taking weather simulation, in my opinion, to a whole new level. If you saw my video on Active Sky Next, you'll see that I was... Truly outstanding with the way that it handled the weather now in FSX as opposed to how it used to do it with Active Sky 2012. So again, if this is not on your Christmas list, it damn well should be. A truly ingenious product from a well-established company. Number five, we're moving on to aircraft now, and this is back down the road to Aerosoft with the Twin Otter Extended series. Again, 
if you watch the stream, you'll have seen that I got early access to this, which I was absolutely more than grateful for. And it was a complete beauty to fly. Now, I'm not really a fan of twin prop aircraft, but this thing was phenomenal. I like the way that you could right-click the checklist and it did it all for you. It's, it's really for lazy flyers in that aspect. But also, you can do it all manually, of course. That is an option, too. So, again, Christmas list. Get it on there. Moving on to number four. Another aircraft. This is A2A's Cessna 172. Now, A2A have always been renowned for doing some outstanding GA aircraft, and they have not broken their trend with this one at all. This is quite possibly the best thing I've ever flown in FSX. As you know, I trained on the thing. Jumping into this aircraft, well, it was just so nostalgic. It was absolutely beautiful. I would recommend this aircraft to absolutely anyone. Okay, so we're down to the final three. And if your add-on hasn't been mentioned that you have in your head right now, I'm hoping that it will be in the last three. And if not, then I'll be pretty shocked. Number three for me, maybe a surprise to you, is the PMDG 777. Now, again, like the, the NGX that came out in 2012 or 11, I can't remember which year it was now, Highly anticipated, so much went into it. The way they released it wasn't the same as the 737. There weren't as many previews. The, the hype wasn't drummed up by PMDG themselves. It was drummed up by the beta testers, albeit the product itself was fantastic. It's a solid simulation of a 777. You really couldn't ask for more. And of course, the 300 is coming out very, very soon, along with the Service Pack 2 for the NGX. So that should be really, really good. Number two on my list, we are heading over to the guys at Majestic Software with the Q400. Now, the majority of you probably know I'm on the beta for that, and it is truly outstanding. It is probably... Let's see, how do I word this? I would say the best aircraft for FSX ever created, period. Okay, number one, taking the top spot for the best add-on of 2013. If I had a drum roll noise, I would play it right about now. It's the guys over at Flight Sim Soft releasing PFPX, Professional Flight Planner X. This is what we have been waiting for for a very long time, and they finally released it. In the summer of 2013, just before the PMDG 777, we were able to purchase this, and I know a shit ton of you did just that. It is amazing. It is what we want as simmers. It completes the whole, you know, we have scenery, we have aircraft, we have all of these little utilities. We never had anything that would solidly build and plan our flights for us in a way that PFPX does. There's nothing else I can say about it. You know, because you've seen it, you know how amazing it is. If you don't have it, then please, please, I urge you to go and get it. It will change the way you fly in Flight Simulator forever. Okay, so that's it. That summarizes my top 10 best FSX add-ons for 2013. The year is coming to an end. It's been a fantastic year, although I only joined into the community, so to speak, about a quarter of the way in into March time-ish. I've had a phenomenal year, met some phenomenal people. If I don't get a video out before the end of the year wishing you all well, then hear it from me. Have a great holiday. We're only allowed to say that. We can't really be specific, but still, happy Christmas. It's good. Enjoy yourself. Eat lots of food. Drink lots of alcohol. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, thumbs it up. Please subscribe. I love you all. Until next time, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.